Okay, guys. We're gonna get out of this parking lot in this episode. Some of it. What is it, the truck convention place? I don't know. Which, I don't know anything that's going on. It's all suspicious to me now. It's all right. Guys, we're having kind of a marathon in this game because I'm so worried. Dude, I'm telling you, it's that temp the, uh, bartender. God, if it is, I'm going to be so jazzed. Hey, there it is. Yeah, I, I found it. I assume this isn't later enough. But... So it doesn't look later. So I'm going to go back to the other place. Hey, it actually circles it. These are all pretty close by. Okay, so let's think about things that are obviously connected to all these cases. The way these girls are dying. Yeah. For some reason, small They're shoes. They're left naked. That, yeah. Shoes of guys are for some reason always related. Uh, Whoa! That was awesome. That was an unbelievable amount of driving I just did. Rain Not a single block. crash. It's always uh, drunkard people's. You're gonna kill Great. It's always drunk people. Uh, I don't know. I always like, hey, where'd you go, Phelps? I'm back. Damn, I'm telling you, this case is tweaking my melon. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Why would that guy say he saw the husband do it? The janitor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right? Like, but, he was, like, so sure about it, but he had no reason to be. This may have gotten in a car, but that doesn't mean... That's a bloody shirt. Did I miss a bloody shirt? It's a blood-covered shirt. Yeah, it's a blood-covered shirt. This will take some explaining. We got some explaining to do. Uh, we, we were having a lipstick fight. <laughs> yeah, I got it. There's blood. You doing anything else? All right. See, yeah, I missed. The, I missed the shirt. Yeah, that's that's big. Operator, give me R and I. Is there any reason a man would have a blood-covered shirt? Putting you through now. Putting you through now. I saw. Twelve forty-seven. How could I help, detective? Messages for me, please. Message from Captain Donnelly, detective. Your presence is urgently. urgently at Central Station. I don't like this. Oh no! Thanks, oh. oh boy! Guys, hide your bloody shirts, dude. There's there's so much of this case that's just not adding up. No, there's so much of this case that is adding up. Oh right. Well, it's weird because so much of the case is not is adding up that it makes it not add up. Also. Now, so much of it is adding up. Hydro... But... What? Continental Coupe. Yeah. Oh, look at that front, dude. That's all the car in the front there. No, the key is like... Ah, uh, dude. I'm gonna, like, cry. I'm just... I'm just blown no, away. No, because it's, it's all adding up, but, like, no, no one wants to admit it. <laughs> Damn it! It'd be really bad if this was the real Black Dahlia murders, like, and how they went, and, like, the things that happened. I think it is, maybe. And we could just look that up, and they would be the... This was a mistake. I did not mean to drive through the trolley section of the road. Because it'd be really bad if it was like, yeah, and that's what really was happening, and that's how they solved it. And you'd be like, oh, God. Because I think it was a case they got kind of strong-armed a confession out of someone. Yeah. I just don't know, guys. I'm... The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Downstairs? We have a downstairs Whoa. in this place? Who's Pinker? He's that vice guy who always shows up. And is clearly corrupt and kind of a dick. <laughs> sure that's his name? Uh, no. Absolutely I'm not sure. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and pushed him in front of the car? That's the cop that caught her! I thought you didn't know where you were going, man. You... Boys! Come on in. Well, this guy's weird looking. Have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. 
Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents. I am a temp bartender. So there's no chance of prints. Oh, uh, no. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Uh, I just huh. don't like this so much. It's a pretty bad poem. I think this is the poem. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Something. Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Chief, that is not the way to go about this. Didn't we learn anything from everything? Chief, I like you a lot, but you are not a great police officer. That's all there is to it. You're too much like Rusty here. You're like one look plus look one. At my little, look at my little, my little <laughs> walk. My little Phelps walk. Little like Phelps walk. No, but seriously, like... Well, this is e clearly one plus one. Put down in my Let's stack. try A and B, though. They're like, no. One is. You mind coming it's here two. and doing your job for a second? Which room is he in, you jerk? Oh, I guess it's in there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm here, I'm here. Your attitude, door's Angel, what do you want me to say? Seriously. I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. All so right, your wife go. paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. What do we know about stuff? Maybe we want to review real quick. Why don't you hit that select button? All right. Uh, right about this dot pattern note. Oh, jeez. All right. So was two five three? Wasn't that a room? Key was five. It wasn't a room, I guess. Unless it was the address of the place. No. No. That's might be it. I don't know. I kind of think he's. Eh, no, he's not telling the truth. Said that. Uh, Quit staring at me like that. Hold on a second. I'm gonna. All right. Uh, don't you died? Left apartment. Your wife paid you to visit last night. What time? Didn't say long. He's. I think he's. Well, he's kind of omitting a lot. I think. My. I would maybe say doubt. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that too. So if you didn't kill no, your wife, who did? Wasn't. You better come up with something, Angel. This doesn't look good. Fuck you. I love my wife. Lie, lie. You're good, kid. You murder your wife and you just sit there as cool as a cucumber. Cucumber kid. I wish you had gotten You and your one. wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. That's a lie. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. That's not He good. was in a fight. Yeah, with us, remember? Oh, yeah. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in Remember front of the when whole we had that fist fight with him, trying to bring him in? That was probably that fight. Sorry. Antonia. 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. That's not only who you'd serve I divorce papers to. Slapped down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Gosh. Size eight. Come on. Oh. The is at me. We're going to find out next time on the Sunday. Bum, bum, bum. Continue.